Hey traders, it's Steve from the Stock Index Trading Room. I want to share this video with you today and in this video we're going to talk about a trading recap from Friday, May the 31st, 2019. Signals that were generated in the Stock Index Trading Room. But more important than that, we're going to teach you a little bit about what we do and why we have such a high win percentage for the signals that we recommend in the room. If you have not read this, please pause the recording now, read through this, and then you can rejoin us after you have done that. If you are not familiar with our work, all of our indicators are Smart Rinko Bars, Smart Super Trend, Smart Price Man, Trap Trader Isolator, Smart Momentum, and more were developed, coded, designed, tested, refined, traded, refined, traded, tested by Robin's World Cup trading champion, Rob Mitchell. Now, Rob has the distinction for an extended period of time during his trading career of being the largest e-mini trader in the world. So we have good tools to work with. I am a PGA trained golf professional. I played a little bit at the beginning of my career, not very successfully, not successfully at all, not real well compared to the standards of the great players of my generation, but I got to meet some and um, spent some time studying the golf swing, became a teacher and a trainer of the golf swing, and for 40 years I did that at, um, at the highest level. So my forte and my uh, gift to the room, if you would, is being a teacher and a trainer. Today we are going to uh, talk about the signals that were generated and I'm, we're gonna talk about some signals that were good, some signals that were very good, some signals that were great, some signals that were exceptional because we believe this, we believe that Traders with good trading results execute, manage, and capitalize good trading signals. Traders with very good results execute, manage, and capitalize on very good trading signals. Great traders, great results, great signals. Exceptional trading results execute, manage, and capitalize on exceptional signals. Unfortunately, many, many, probably most traders think that the key to successful long-term trading is to take a signal, any signal, it might be good, very good, great, exceptional, might be average, and execute and manage it exceptionally and because of that, they will achieve exceptional results over a long period of time. And of course, that can't happen because it's not possible to extract more from anything than the full potential. So it's hard to get exceptional results from good or average signals. So with that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna, like I said, we're gonna recap some signals and I'm going to tell you our thinking as we go along in the day, what we look for and how we qualify both market structure and where a signal is, a combination of factors. We have several things that we use. And the more things a trader uses to put statistical odds in their favor, the more likely they are to succeed. We call that process standards better than random, stacking probabilities if you would. And the more standards I can build into a trade signal that take me away from a random outcome, the more likely I am going to be successful in each trade that I execute. And I'll show you what that looks like as we go along. So on this chart, each large reversal bar, this green one, this red one, this green one, 
are eight ticks in length plus any wick. The continuation bars are four ticks or one full point. So each time you see a signal and it generates one of these, that's a point, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Our vertical blue line is the represents the market open. And on Friday, this was the first marking we had in the room. We call this a weak Batman. It's a very simple structure. Trap trader oscillator is telling us one too many people are long in a downtrend. Too many people are long. Very good chance of working to this area. We love that. But then we have price that gets sort of boxed in in a micro with a red reversal, green reversal, red. So it reverses down, reverses up, reverses down. Just telling us there's a price fight right here. We look at trap trader oscillator and it says price is substantially weaker in this bar than this bar, even though price is the same. Well, does that give us an advantage? Yeah, a huge advantage. So here you can see this trade just fell apart, went down six or six points, I think, uh, before it took a breath. We call this a weak Batman. Uh, this is an exceptional trade to us. It is in trend. It's, you know, all of the factors are necessary for this to be a successful trade. Now, each day in a room, we try to identify trades, one or 20, our record is 22 exceptional signals that are likely to go four or more points in a trader's favor to be successful. So we marked this one, you know, a little after the open and there it went and we reached our goal, which is always fun. Okay, so an exceptional signal and you can see why, see why we have the advantage and why we take advantage of that. Now we're gonna progress on, I wanna start my teaching and what is a good, great, exceptional signal. Here we have a trade signal that we call smart super trend. Those are these blue and red hash lines that seem to be random, but I can promise you they are anything but random located throughout the chart. You'll see them everywhere. Oh, red line break, and it goes down. Green line break anyway. We have a green reversal bar going through a red smart super trend See, uh, gives us a buy signal on the completion of this bar. Okay, this is in our family of trades called room to grow. We have a 92% for one bar, 88% for two bars, and a little over 70% for five bars. So most of the people trading this that like to hold trades, hold these for five full points. So here we have our signal. We have an SST line break. We have some room between here and the last SST print. We're gonna go over that in a minute. That is the second criteria, but here we have a double. So the likelihood of getting up to this area is over 90%. So it gives us a huge advantage. We get long here. We trade this trade for five points and away it goes. But here we have this signal and we have this signal and boy, they look the same. And I'm gonna mark these as we go, do a little teaching on the run. And then the question would be, what's good, what's very good, what's great, and what's exceptional? Well, one of the things you'll notice if you hang around very long is that when trap trader oscillator says there are too many people trapped on the, in this case, short side, the market tends to rebound. When smart momentum is agreeing with that, it tends to rebound rather aggressively and in, a, uh, uh, in an, an extended move up, cycling up. So those are the couple of the things that we would look at and look for. So here we have this smart super trend line break room to grow. We like this for five points. To make it better, we have Trap trader oscillator saying, well, there are too many people short. Too many people are exposed to the short side here and are likely to get exploited. That will make our trade explode up. We have smart momentum, both in an extreme area under our purple qualifying line. 
But what we have here is called a type two divergence. Rob coded this and it's brilliant. We have a low here and a higher low here. Smart momentum is saying that we are stretched too far. Trap trader oscillator is saying we are stretched too far. So one, two, three, type two, out of bounds room to grow in trend. So we have four standards better than random that is telling me that this is an exceptional trade signal. One, two, three, four, five points. One recycle in the middle, but five points. Nice successful trade. So as we track this further, we get a counter trend. If you want to trade counter trend, we'll mark that goes down a couple of bars, maybe more. We don't know that. We have no idea what's on the right side of this bar. We do know that smart price band is saying up and we are in what we call an all hands on deck up situation. So it would be really going against all trend indications to sell this, but we have traders that do that. And it is a signal. It's not a qualified, it's not, it's a good signal. It's not a very good, it's not great, and it's not exceptional. But let's get over here and look at this bar on the right side of the screen now. We have a green bar below a blue smart price spin. That's 85% to go two points in the past couple of years. We have trap trader oscillator saying, oh, too many people, too many people short, in an uptrend, Let's exploit those people and take their money. Smart momentum, while it's not in a type two divergence, it is at our extreme line. We know the market is more likely to go up than down from here, up than down from here, up than down from here, and up than down from here. So I've got, we'll make it a very good, it's not an exceptional signal, very good signal. Oops, sorry, sorry, here is our, third qualifier, actually we will put another one here. Here is our second system of our room to grow. And see we have seven ticks from here to here. And you'll notice a lot of times in a trend or in price movement, we'll get a print here and 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 a print here. And a print here and the market can't go anywhere. There's just too much support and resistance, it's in a box. Okay, well here we have a situation, we call this an open, it's a pocket of open zones, the market will have space to create momentum to blast up. Uh, I, we uh, look for a minimum of whatever this space is doubled, this is seven. So we would look for 14 more ticks. So from here it would be a total of 21 ticks or another five point trade from this exceptional signal. And of course we can see, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Another very good exceptional signal, out of bounds, out of bounds, room to grow, green below blue. Just starting to stack the odds where we're gonna be 90 or 95% likely for the market to move in our favor. So now we're gonna reset, what do we have here? We have green below blue. Okay, 85% to get two bars. We are out of bounds with smart momentum. We are out of bounds with trap trader oscillator. We are in a type two situation, again, where we have a deeper cycling pullback in an uptrend. We certainly are creating higher lows in an uptrend. So this is a very good signal. If it had room to grow, it would be exceptional. But again, probably upper 80s to low 90s for this trade to move in our favor. You can see because it did not have room to grow here, it's sort of that resistance, sort of the, the market tried to trap that and failed. Okay. 85% for two. And then if you held through all of this, I don't know if you would have or not, that would be up to 
the individual trader. So here we go. We've got green below. That's pretty good. We're almost overdone with TTO. I'm going to go ahead and put an error. That's pretty good. Uh, we're in an uptrend. That's a that's a very good signal. It's not a great signal, not an exceptional signal. It's just a very good signal. And again, you know, two to five points, however you would manage that. Okay. So you can start to see how when we add a lot of factors to this, we take our chances from average to good to very good to great to exceptional. It just depends on what a trader wants to achieve with their trading. And we're going to skip ahead a little bit. There's a few things in here that you could have traded if you'd wanted to. And that's fine. A lot of traders like to take a lot of trades. Other traders like to take only high quality trades. And that's totally up to the trader. This is sort of the lunch hour, early afternoon reset. So as we continue to track the market, we're looking, I'm going to talk about this signal because it's got five ticks from here to here. Okay, that's an open zone, large enough to create momentum. We would trade that for a minimum of four points. As we have five here, we would look for 10 more, double that. So that would be, we would look for a four point trade. Now we are also, Trap Trader Oscillator is hinting, yeah, that may be a little too far. So this is, in my opinion, this is a good signal. Not very good, not great, not except, just a good signal. Now, sometimes good signals do this, but we have our room to grow space. And so we look for our five points, one, two, three, four, five, and then it reverses, okay? So if you're keeping score, here's a room to grow, five. Here's a room to grow, five. Here's a room to grow, five. This one is not, and this one is not. They were very successful. Here's a room to grow five. So that's five trades with our room to grow signal that's qualified with something else that's given us five points each. And now I want to share this situation with you and then I'll wrap it up. This will close it up with this. Here we have a situation. We have a name for this. It's called a non-cycling weak Batman and that's not important because if you come to the room, if you don't come to the room, it doesn't matter if you come to the room. Uh, every time this happens, we'll have this marked for you. But here's what's going on. Let's look at this. We have uh, a you know, non-cycle. It goes down, it goes up, and goes down. And while it's not back-to-back -back as this Batman or back-to-back -back as this Batman, there is no cycle reversals in between. It just goes down and it goes up. So a local double top. But here's how brilliant this new room to grow SST signal is. You can see on this bar, we, we have an SST print, actually three, three resistance bars right here. The market hits it and does what? Bounces off of it. Well, over here, you can see it's six ticks until we get to the next SST print. So this has space to gain momentum it has room to grow. This would never be a signal. This would always be a signal. Trap Trader Oscillator, room to grow. And you can see we don't have to sit through this stuff here. Can't, it just goes away. This is a combo trade. We call that, and again, we're going into market. I mean, you can look and you go space here, that's a winner. SST line, that's a winner. You know, you can look, but this is closed on Friday. So that's sort of the recap from Friday, our exceptional signals. Here's an SST print, five, five points. Here's one that has four factors lined up to saying, hey, we're going four factors, three factors, three factors. So the further we can get away from random 50-50, the better our chances are to what? To have exceptional results, not average or good results, unless that's okay for you. So to recap, let's talk about this, a huge success rate of our members. 
most members come into the room a little bit. We want them to be skeptical. We want them to be open-minded, but skepticism is okay. And they, uh, for the most part, report how simple it is to grab winning signals throughout the day and to benefit from that. We have well-defined, easy to understand trade signals. If we have this red bar here with five or more ticks before we get to the first blue at smart super trend, we have a qualified signal. It's that simple. If we have a signal that we have a green bar penetrating a red smart super trend, we have a signal. If we have trap trader oscillator saying it is too far under in a reversal up that is higher in price structure than the previous one, we have a signal. If smart momentum is in a type two divergence out of bounds and it reverses up, we have a signal. Hence, all of the errors here, we stack the probabilities to over 90% historical, historical win rate to go in our favor, 94% to go in our favor, 92% to go in our favor, and on and on and on. So just well-defined, easy to understand signals. Takes most traders about 15 minutes to figure the room to grow if they apply themselves. We build statistical advantages into the signal. We have a trade called Trap Trader Oscillator, TTO Extreme, color on color. So we have two standards built into the signal. If it's in trend, it's three standards better. It's a real simple pattern. We've not talked about that here today. We have stuff that really, in my opinion, is better than that. But we have a lot of traders that trade that. We have these blue bars below a green line. A red bar above is the same. Here's a red bar above. I didn't mark that. 85% to get two points. There you go. We had in the month of May, we had about 90, had about 88 signals generated with this with an 82% win rate. So that's a great signal in and of itself. It has standards better than random built into the signal. So you don't have to sit and think, just this, have this, 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 and this. If we take a something as simple as we take a room to grow smart super trend line break with a trap trader oscillator X and a type two, I mean, that's just overwhelming that we're gonna get five points there. Overwhelming. Well, we don't have to think about, well, it's here and this is here and that's there and, you know, the moon is in this lunar phase and all this. So we don't have to do that. They're already built into the system. And we take care of randomness and we take care of average results because we build the uh, standards away from random into the signal itself. So you won't be taking average signals. We train and train and then we train some more in a room. And then, you know, we have over a hundred pages of training for members that really want to become excellent at their craft in the members area that they can study and learn on their own. We have unprecedented, I think you can see how brilliant the indicators are. We have unprecedented indicators to work with. I will tell you this, I'll share this with you. Two, two factors about the, the brilliance and Rob and understanding the markets and coding. One, all of our indicators are coded to work together. That's why when we put them together, uh, they're, yeah, if you look at this, you go, that can't be true. And this is this was not you know, a great day by any stretch. I mean, we had five trades that went five points. That's pretty spectacular, but that's not uncommon for us in the room. But also the codes are built to detect order flow and that has that is in no way to be confused with volume at all they're to two totally different animals but price follows order flow you can write that down price follows order flow so if you've got something that's reading order flow and we do then you can say well i have an advantage over the market 
and then we've got a lot more to offer. We're always evolving. I've got, we've, we're working on a couple of new systems that will be very, very beneficial to our members as soon as all the details are worked out. And um, we're going to continue to grow and evolve and look for things that put, uh, put all the advantages in our members' favor to be an exceptional trader. And then under, just understand this, what benefits come from successful trading? You know, time, freedom from stress, blessing people we love, you know, all the things that being successful at this would mean. So what's next? If you have questions about this, support at stockindextradingroom.com. Shoot me an email. We'll get to that as soon as we can. And um, we'll, we'll answer any and all questions that you have about what we're doing. The next step is, is that we would like for you to join us. We'd like for you to, to come and be a part of this and uh, take advantage of what we are uh, offering, what we're doing on a daily basis for our members. And you can go to stuckindextradingroom.com and look at the short video and get a dynamite discount coupon at the end of the video, or I think I've even mentioned it in the uh, in the email mailer that will go out. But anyway, if you've looked at this and you're following us on YouTube, uh, we'll be happy to give you a nice discount for your room membership. And um, then we work very hard each day to make sure that that's a great investment. So on behalf of Robin's World Cup trading champion, Rob Mitchell. Uh, I'm Steve Myers from the Stock Index Trading Room, wishing you nothing but the best in your trading.